All right, guys, we are back in California after 12 days in Nevada. Getting hard to keep track of it. I'm going to show you around the park we're staying at right now. People always told me I need someone like you, someone who gets me, and someone who's cool, yeah. And I like the way you are, and I want it all. Hello, bear friends. Hello, tree friend. I think that's a tree. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Shingletown, California, staying at the KOA Holiday. We are about 70 miles from Mount Shasta, and I believe this whole area here is considered Mount Lassen. Lassen? I'm not exactly sure how you say it, but this is 100% different than being in Nevada. We are literally in a Forest. Look at these tall trees, guys. This is absolutely crazy. I absolutely love this. The entrance to this park is right off Highway 44. You cannot miss it because it has this ginormous yellow sign. Now about four miles down the highway this way, there is a very small town with a, a restaurant that we ate at last night called Pioneer Pizza. There's a little saloon there. There's lots of different things. Pizza, tacos, fish, all kinds of things available. And let me tell you, $20 for a small pizza and it was well worth it. One of the best pizzas I have ever had in my entire life. So getting back to the park, yes, we are in Shingletown, California. I believe the area is called Mount Lassen Forest. Absolutely awesome out here, guys. Look at these tall trees. I love this. This is honestly one of my favorite parks we've stayed at, and unfortunately, we're only here for one night. As you can see, I am wearing my hoodie, so it is much colder out here than it was in Nevada, but it is warming up, so by the time we leave, it'll probably be in the 70s. As you can see, when we enter the park here, they have several little cabins. Pretty cool. I love this kind of stuff. I'd love to just go in and check out one of these cabins. They have them on both sides here, little log cabins, and then it becomes the RV park back here. There's also spaces for plenty of uh, tents. There are lots of different RVs here, as you always see in different RV parks. There's fifth wheels, class C, class A, there's travel trailers. Let me take you this way first, because when you first pull in from the highway, you come in this way, around this way, restrooms right here that have showers and right up here is where you check in this is the main office we did also note that right off to the left here before you get to the office is a little free library that is cool take a book leave a book this is the main office right here you pull in go inside get checked in they are some of the nicest people i have ever met at a park hello bear friend we are checking out at 11 so i'm not going to take you inside to show you but there is a little general store in there as with any other park they also have wood for sale here because you are allowed to have fires at this park i absolutely love that and holy crap look what they have here a payphone it's dead. <laughs> Around the back of the office, there are a couple more of these little buildings here, little uh, cabins, and you have your propane here. Always awesome to be able to fill your propane on site. When we were in New Mexico, it was hot one day, it was snowing and everything was frozen the next, and we had to pack up and leave to go 10 miles down the road to fill up on propane. Okay, entering the park, we got a little picnic area over here, which is totally cool. A KOA News Bulletin area right here. KOA News, we got some information about COVID, some games for checkout. Oh, how cool is that? They even got movies for checkout inside the store. And a red flag warning, because in this area, you can start forest fires, even though you don't mean to. So... I don't know if this is specifically all the time, Sunday through Tuesday, but I have noticed around the town there are postings about when you can and can't have fires. But for the times that you can, the sites do have fire pits. I believe this is the very first park that I have been to since Tappan in Ohio that has actually had fire pits. I have not had a fire at a park the whole time I've been full-time, guys. That's been six, seven months, and that is one thing that I totally miss. Look, we got a playground area over here for kids. Over here is our site, and I'll show you that real quick before we move on even more. This person actually just packed up and left now. A couple of little ladies here that are staying. They just took off for the day. And this is our site right here, right among the giant trees. 
I love it. It's so nice. I wish we were staying another night, but we need to get on the road. We already have reservations at another area. This is a pull-through site with full hookups. And as you can see, we do have a picnic table and our own little fire pit. Honestly, it was kind of a tight little squeeze getting in past this tree right here, but as you can see, we have plenty of room to leave our tow dolly on, to park beside the rig, and plenty of room over here if we wanted to pull out our chairs and just hang out. We'll go back over this way in a minute because I want to show you the pool, but over here we have lots more sites. There were more people in here earlier, and they've already left. From what I understand, there are uh, trails through the woods here that you can walk. These sites are all nice and big, guys. Look at this. This is another pull-through site right here. This is a pull-through site here. This looks to be a back-end site over here. But they are all huge. You've got plenty of room no matter where you park your rig. Now, not all these sites are full hookups. Some of them only have water and electric but ours back there is a full hookup. So here's a trash area with recycling, plastic, glass, and aluminum. More sites back here. I see a tent set up. How cool is that? I haven't been tent camping for, man, a year and a half or something like that. Yeah, so this is more rustic sites back here. I think that's what you call it, rustic. Cool, tent camping is so much fun. Yeah, here's one that's just electric and water. And of course, you've still got your picnic table and the fire pit over there. And the sites are nice and spread out from each other, too. You're not, like, stacked on top of each other like some parks. Look at this one, Site 30. This is a full hookup site right here. And you park right next to this little deck. How cool is that? This must be part of the site. You got your own grill here, concrete patio, a table there, a bench fire pit over there that is really cool that's a pretty awesome site right here site number 30 remember that if you're coming out here okay so this circles around that was the area with the tents over there a couple more sites here on the uh, edges on the outskirts and then we'll go up this way this is cool at the back of the park they got a little restroom for men and women hidden amongst the trees so you don't have to walk all the way up front. And then here is the pool. Now the pool appears to be drained right now. It's probably a COVID thing. Yeah, but here it is. This is what it looks like. Closed for the season. When they fill it up, I'm sure it's awesome. I don't know what the actual season is, but yeah, guys, that is this park. Pretty awesome. It's not the biggest park I've ever been to, but it is very, very nice nestled among all these trees i absolutely love it i wish we were staying here longer i'd love to kick back tonight and have a campfire and as we make our way back to my rv there is some beautiful hot shapely chick filming it excuse me can i help you excuse me could you lock the door do you want me to lock the door? I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I have the keys here, my keys. Oh, okay. Are you almost done? Mm, I love you, babe. All right, you going to film your own video? Yeah, where is the beginning of the park? Where's beginning the of the park's pretty far up there. <laughs> You gotta make a good walk up there. All right, guys, if you wanna see another view of this park, go on over to Life Unbox. That's my beautiful, beautiful chick right here, as you know. We'll see you guys in the next video. People always told me I 